Hello, I'm Scruffy, and welcome to episode 11 of Playing Through Pikmin 4. We had a doozy of an episode last time. Uh, two caves, a Dondori challenge, a night mission, and nearly completing all of the blossoming Arcadia. Now, I was going to start this episode with completing the rest, the, the remainder of the Blossoming Arcadia, and then just collecting a couple more raw materials in between. And I did that. And I didn't realize I hadn't started recording. So, yeah, this is day 16. You may notice from my raw materials and my puppy points that uh, I've spent a couple things. I'm going to review all of that so that I can catch you up on that, but that's my bad. I deduct yet another Dondori point from my my license. Um, but there's nothing to be done but pick up the pieces, and honestly, not that much happened in that day since there was only one last treasure to recover. And I'll show you it over in the treasure hoard. Let's see here. It was the bottom of a stacking doll. The same stacking doll uh, that I found in the Blossoming Arcadia above ground. It was buried in the sandbox area. I had to use yellow Pikmin to get up onto a ledge so that they could dig it up. And that was the final treasure. Uh, that gave me 100% completion of the Blossoming Arcadia, and the, the rest was just finding loose uh, raw material caches and uh, transporting them. And that gave me back a little bit of the buffer of raw material that I spent on Russ's technology. I'll show you what I purchased. Uh, actually, I could show you in my, in my gear. Let's see, my gear menu is here. Yes. So I now have um, the anti-electrifier for myself. Or no, no, wait, I already had that. I bought it for Ochi. An anti-electrifier collar for Ochi, uh, as well as a scorch guard collar, and a general damage reduction collar. So, Ochi is very much buffed against some of the most common hazards that we've encountered so far. Um, I also buffed up uh, Ochi's ability to carry objects. He can now carry up to 10 weight objects. And when I did that, Shepard introduced a new category, a new entire category of uh, buffs called Super Buff, which will allow him to carry 20, 30, and then 100 weight objects, if I upgrade it that far. And I do intend to, but uh, for now I've got to conserve my puppy points. Um, I also picked up the Idler's Alert. I found, or I, I realized that this will probably really help, especially during like Dondori challenges, it calls idle Pikmin to wherever I sound the alert, but the alert does not follow me around. So I could just, pl uh, you know, plant it down somewhere, maybe next to raw materials or nuggets, and just leave and be safe with the knowledge that idle Pikmin will pick up that task for me. So that could be a really good way to, like, get idle Pikmin from, like, ac across the map even to focus on something for me. Uh, It'll be good Dondori, and I'll need that because uh, things are only going to get harder from here on out. I also got one prototype Lightning Shock, which is basically what the Pick Pick Carrot does, except immediately, and it's an area of effect. Um, and I got a Traconator prototype, which is a bomb, but it follows things around. Uh, so <laughs> it would home in on enemies that that run away uh, really clever stuff I'm excited to use it all although I'm terrified of situations in which I would have to use it so that's everything that happened uh, and that brought my raw material count 
from just over 700 down to 358, my puppy points down from 5 to 1. Uh, no rescues were made, the only thing is that I can now talk to Dingo. Oh ho! You think you got this under control, is that it? No one could pull a fast one on me, <laughs> But I did complete the Blossoming Arcadia, and now I can at least prove it on video, <laughs> even if I, uh... Even if I didn't record it. I, I'm so sorry about that. I feel stupid for that, but it'll be okay. Uh, again, like, not much happened. The important stuff is about to happen because we are heading to a new area, the Serene Shores, which we have never encountered before. So, let's go. I, I have the materials. I feel ready. We'll need some kind of medicine to cure the leaflings, right? Thankfully, Yanni is experienced with these sort of things. True. Yeah, we'll probably go on a night mission after this. So, there you have it. Two areas, 100% complete, and Serene Shores is zero. Uh, also, just an interesting note. Last episode, uh, we also got past another um, Sparkleum limit, which fully powered up the SS Shepard. But it didn't expand the radar range and find any other SOS signals. But I'm pretty sure that there has to be at least one more area after this. I mean, you know, this game has already shown itself to be huge. It's going to be a huge game. And this menu obviously shows that there's space for plenty more areas. So, you know, this can't be the final one. I, I, I don't think it is. But we're going to have to find out in a different way than just collecting Sparklium. So... To the Shireen Shores, we go. I'm so excited. I love tropical areas in Pikmin games. It's imperative to get the lay of the land. Scope things out with your survey drone. Good thinking. Alright, so, we've got our little base here. Next to some beautiful blossoms and pelicosies. Uh, looks like we're already on a coast here. And there's some terrific sand sculptures in front of us. Oh boy, and a hundred Pikmin uh, treasure to carry that's in the water, even. So we're going to need plenty of blue Pikmin. In fact, I don't think we have enough of a cap to carry that yet. I would have to, like, extremely buff Ochi's carrying capacity if we were to carry that right now. So I'm going to have to find uh, a Flarlick. There's Olimar about to capture another castaway and make them into a leafling. That's that looks to be the first thing I'm going to the first cave I'm going to enter here. And we've got treasures, we've got what appears to be a toady bloister, uh, as well as several aquatic enemies, a mock bottom. Uh, and then it just gets crazier and crazier from there. I love this giant sand castle. That's awesome. What are you? Oh dear. Okay, uh, revealing too much with the survey drone. <laughs> we're, we're, we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> um, what does the game recommend here? Just blue and ice Pikmin. Interesting. All right then, I'll give it a shot. Got 
some raw materials already over here. Gosh, this looks lovely in the morning. Like the, the light scattering through those giant fronds. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Alright, so, yeah, I suppose it was right to recommend us Pikmin that, uh, that, uh, can survive the water. Ice Pikmin can move through it, <laughs> but I can't really use them in it. That was a Skeeter Skate, and this is another water dumper. has some kind of synth bass as its instrument. Okay, we can't... We'll have to go around for that way. So let's build this bridge and get to Olimar. Place. I like the, the distant seagulls you can hear. And these vibrant flowers. They're just... Ah, oh, it's, it's lovely. And here comes Olimar to muck it up. So... Let's uh, work on this wall while I go discover what Olimar's up to. And also what's in here. This could be raw materials. Good job, Ochi. Ochi is going to be crazy powerful by the end of this. Like, if he can learn to carry up to 100 weight objects, I... I shudder at what he's, what he'll be capable of by the end. <laughs> it's that leafling again, and the figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. This is no joke. They could be turned into a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save them. Okay, time for another Dondori battle. Dondori Castle. Oh, it's like, it's a big sand castle. Excellent. Only yellow Pikmin. Okay. It's now or never. I have been waiting for you. I now have a new rule that I will use to test you. I will explain it in time. Let us begin. Oh, element of surprise, huh? Okay. Hold on. I have a survey drone on my side. So, we've got some more of those guys. Um, we've got a bonus find that will be the first, my first objective here. So I need to head east. Looks like I'm at the corner of a big square arena here. Ah, and he's not quite at the opposite corner. He's on like a little pedestal there. There's going to be some peckish aristocrats, which might I say look very different. Like they really went with the color scheme that separates the, uh, the weak part from the armored part. Very interesting. So, I guess just go for... Oh, wow, yeah. Go for the bonus finds in the corners. I really sh need to prioritize those. And then I suppose we'll hear what Olimar's uh, new rule will be. I'm going to go all out. 
Oh, he's already going for them as well. No, you don't. That's mine, Moss. I'm sorry to do that to you. Oh dear. Out of the way, please. Oh. This is a mystery capsule. As you now know. Er, yeah, as you now know, Dondori is part luck. This is an item of mystery, so you cannot know what will emerge from its depths. If you use these items, your Dondori will succeed. Pick up many, use many. Okay. Ouch. Oh dear. Gotta distract him while they dig this up. Ouch. Okay. Now to not distract him. Now to leave him be. Oh, this is not going well. I forgot how awful of enemies the peckish aristocrats are. How about this? It really is a fight for the strawberries. Because uh, once you know they're a bonus find, like, what else is there to go for? He's trying to get one of his own. I can't really contest him right now. I just don't have enough Pikmin for it. Alright, let me pick up one of these. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, and they show up right here. That's fantastic. Let's have a couple Pikmin of his die. And then have him deal with the enemy while we carry the spoils. Oh dear. This is a golden sniffer. It is heavy, and its value is high. A rare treasure indeed. If you can collect this, it will carry you closer to victory. Oh dear. It just gets more and more complicated. Okay. Out of the way, please. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, actually, distract the aristocrat, please. There's nothing left for you to do here, Olimar. Just leave me be. I'm gaining a bit of a lead. Okay, he's distracted. I'm not about to let him have that Sunseed Berry as well. <laughs> he, he knows that I'm onto something. It would be cool to go for the Golden Sniffer, but... Oh! Okay, that scares probably Pikmin and the Rescue Pup. And that, just like Bingo Battle, uh, teleports you somewhere. 30. Now I see the importance of really upgrading Ochi's carrying capacity. the rest of my Pikmin. Hold on. They're kind of scattered. There's one. I'm doing decent, but uh, it's not platinum metal material. Oh yeah? Uh, where would I 
have that... that mine. Oh, it's right there. Oh, I just... I said it. <laughs> there's, there's nothing I can do. Okay. Well, if you come near my base, Olimar, you're in for a big surprise. I'm not about to let you get another bonus find. didn't even collect the golden sniffer. Like, I won. Great. But... Not as much as I could have. This will be a, a silver medal. But I'll need to replay that one eventually. That was tough. It does come down to luck sometimes. Again, you have shown mastery in the art of Don Dory. I leave the rest to you. Off they go. Hmm. Off they go again. Thankfully, we recovered the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. Okay. Let's transport them. And... Now we can see what's beyond this wall here. Because... Well, we could venture over there. We could also venture over here. What is over here? A little pond. Some pots. Raw materials. Okay, it's a pretty small area then, so we could... We could venture over here first. Ooh, there we go. Ah! A few more dice. I'm gonna make that lovely little dice handling noise when Pikmin pick them up. I'm checking the ID info of the leafling you secured. At this point, it's just part of my routine. Well, I'm kind of in the middle of battling a water dumple. Nothing. Just like the others. Alright, let's put our energy into finding and curing these folks. Keep exploring. Okay. No biggie. That is a lot of raw materials. Great. Ooh. Okay, well. Nothing doing. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Wait. Let's take this opportunity to check out the idler's alert. As soon as they're done... We take out the alert, and all the idle Pikmin come over here. And realizing there's nothing to do, they just hop onto Ochi. That's awesome. That's that's going to be very useful, especially in Dondori challenges. Okay. We can't carry you yet, but we can at least... Uh, Oh, hold on. We can at least freeze these and get rid of these obstacles. But that'll be a bit of a... a Pikmin puzzle. Oh. 
Do we have another armored cannon beetle larva up here? And a peckish aristocrat, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I want to stay out of the way of those, so let's... Let's get you and your drum machine over here. Okay. The secret was rushing. Uh, Nice to hear that cicada in the background. Several types of cicada, honestly. Pretty. This area is clearly not a natural feature. I wonder who could have built it. Oh dear. Oh no! That was an unfortunate spot to be. Okay. I'm sorry, little Pikmin. Okay, plenty of nectar for everyone. No way! The tides change at noon? Oh. Did the water just... The tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That ought to make it a lot easier to explore now. No way. That's awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool! So the... The, the water level that I had been dealing with for that half of the day is just gone. Not all the way gone, but significantly lowered. That's crazy. So I'm going to have to plan where to be. Oh dear. I'm sorry, Ochi. Uh, where do I want to be? Where do I want to be? Oh dear. That's what I was hoping to do. I... Uh, I have a bit of, uh... Residual muscle memory of, uh... Dodging these guys in Pikmin 3 and Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Using the, uh... Dodge whistle. But that control is not mapped to a dodge whistle in this game, so I'll need to be very careful. Much more careful than I have been. Do they have a safe path back? I believe they do. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. They're going the right way. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, there's a base up here. Let's get to there. Let's see, how are we... We can get up there from the opposite side. Gosh, I recognize a, a bucket shape like that. Very popular uh, beach bucket. Now, this guy's likely a mini boss. I'm gonna want my ice Pikmin, so this is a good time to call the idle Pikmin over here. It's working! Will it work even after the uh, alert is has disappeared? Uh, will it? It will. Okay, great. 
Lovely. So I don't have to waste all that time heading all the way back down there. I can grab my Pikmin, because I'll probably need Ice Pikmin for, for this. Yeah, there's that snare drum. This is a battle for the ages. Here goes. Okay, we need to grab Pikmin onto this. Ah! Oh dear. Yes, and then we attack that part. Great. We distracted it just a little bit. Everyone, on to that part, please. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think I've saved them. I'd really like to not freeze it. To, like, not destroy it by freezing. That's not the way to face, guys. Oh, no. There we go. Yes. Oh, that was tough. But we have our spoils. That can go to Blue Pikmin. What a fearsome creature. All right, now before the day is out, are there any caves around here? There's a blue onion. Okay, that's the end of that area. Because if I could enter a ca- Aha! Okay, that's not far at all. So, let's pluck a couple Pikmin. And then... Let's just make a mad dash for the cave, because we're almost out of... Out of time for entering one in the first place. So, what do we have here? Below-grade discotheque. While traversing the darkness, I came upon a delightful yet nostalgic object of mystery. Powerful streams of light, non-stop beats that assault the senses, a haze of smoke and music, and dancing Pikmin. It's like being back in the discotheques of my youth. Interesting. <laughs> Dancing Pikmin, you say, and a haze of smoke and music. Uh, okay. I, well, I'm all about music, so, uh, this sounds like the perfect cave to run into right at the end of this day. <laughs> Let's try it. This cave is very dark. It'll be hard to explore without a headlamp. Do you still want to enter? Yes, I want to enter. Okay, red and yellow Pikmin. Guess so. Let's go. Smoke and music. What could that be about? Okay, this is still the normal industrial cave music so far. And yes, it is quite dark. Ooh, that's good to have. 
Ah. Tusk blow hog. That's three Pikmin gone. Yellow Pikmin can't even reach that. They'll have to climb up to that ledge. But they can reach this. Another piece of train track. Now, I know it advised me to wear the headlamp, but I just love how this looks. I don't care if it's more dangerous and I'm reckless and I'm... Well, I do care if I lose Pikmin, but... Like, this just looks so cool! And spooky! And I can definitely just deal with those guys by rushing. No big deal. Is there anything... There's just something up there. Another billiard ball. There's got to be some other goal for which I'm collecting sparkly. Like, I, I feel like I'm gonna need a lot, especially if they're still handing me a bunch of treasures like this. That's number five. Here's the extra hole. Another of you. And some extra Pikmin. That's good. I suppose that's the cue ball? Yeah. Okay. So then that's everything in this dark cave. All right. Twenty percent. So there's five sublevels going on here. Okay, we've got some... we've got a bearded amp rat. Uh-oh. Uh, I should have known better than to attack it while it's, like, rubbed static electricity into its beard. Because that's when it's most dangerous. Even for yellow Pikmin, it, it can still snatch them up and eat them. I can't get up there from there, can I? Guess that makes it a can't dull until I can get on that floating platform. That's not fair. No. You better not grab any Pikmin through this gate. 
you realize how unwise a decision that is? No, 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 no. I swear, it's gonna time it with the yellow Pikmin finishing off the wall. Fortunately, uh, it can't see in more than 180 degrees, I think. Even though it has eyes on the side of its head. So... Yeah, if you can catch it before it uh, like charges up, then it'll be fine. This is interesting right here. I can't go that way until I bring down these uh, this gate, because I'd have to jump on Ochi to get through there, but Ochi can't make it through that grill. Very neat little puzzle. Neat. This feels very precarious, but we made it safe. That is a nice looking candle. Especially just like the subsurface scattering from the wax. Uh, like the light of the flame coming through some of the wax. That looks lovely. Excellent. Okay, that goes with the, uh, the glow ring and the ring pop. Alright, Ochi, looks like I'm gonna have to leave you behind for a moment. Or are those leaping guys? I'm going to see if I can't avoid them until I can get these gates managed. That was easy. They have like a, a twangy little sound. Almost reminiscent of like a jaw heart. Not quite though. It's, it's definitely synthetic. Okay. Done and dealt with. And a stomp box. Distortion. Awesome. Hold, hold on, hold on. What do those other dials say? hard to tell from here. That's just dist for distortion level and something else. <laughs> That'll be something to uh, zoom in on in the treasure hoard. But it's a distortion pedal. Good for a music themed cave. That might be everything. Yeah, I think that's everything. It goes with the skateboard. Just a quick check. Let's go.
Okay. Wow. Check out the area with the survey drone. Sure. So, we've got grind rails, we've got cardboard boxes, oh, we have a candy pop bud for a Pikmin type I have not encountered yet. That's exciting. Um, we have bouncy mushrooms, we have fans, we have conveyor belts, we have everything to make a giant Pikmin roller coaster, basically. And some treasure somewhere in this like spot over here. Somewhere in the middle. Maybe? I, I, I'm sure I'll find the treasure on the path that this seems to want to take. There seems to be only one place to start, so... Into the fan we go. Okay, now. I can throw Pikmin into there, but I can't pluck them from here. This machinery looks complicated. You're telling me! What is this? They're digging something up. You okay, guys? There's... There's nothing underneath there. Are they okay? Oh... It's a tunnel, even though uh, these parts are not connected. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, let's collect these nuggets, at least. They could and should be reversed, yes. I definitely don't want to go the wrong way off of a walkway. Oh, I see what's going to need to happen. I can't cross with the Pikmin, but I can throw Pikmin onto this Rube Goldberg machine. Question is, will I be throwing them the right way? Let's throw one. Oh, oh. Where'd you go? I'm into the fan. Time those directional changes wisely. I see. Okay. Goes into the fan. Did that work? Yes. Yes! Okay, the Pikmin climb onto there. They're skating around, they're grinding the rail. And that leaves them there. Okay. So now I just need to do that with nine more Pikmin. Oh, shoot. Again. Okay, okay, so I can change the direction while they're flying through that fan. Right there. Then they climb onto there and they're home free. That's fun, if a little nerve wracking. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Okay. Oh, I missed a couple. Oh, 
Okay. Now how do I get up there? I need to jump onto there. Somehow. How would I do that? Maybe using this fan. And before I do that... Let's get this collected. All good, Ochi. I think. Hmm. It's it's got to be that fan. That's the one that nobody has visited yet. This one right in front of me. That's all the treasure here, but I'm not leaving without plucking those Pikmin sprouts. So. <laughs> Ochi sounds so scared to do that. It's okay, Ochi. You're doing great. Hmm. So that's how I get over there, but... Maybe there's a way that Ochi can get onto one of these conveyor belts. I don't know about that one. It's too high for Ochi's hop. And this is certainly, that's too far for Ochi to hop. What am I missing? Ochi can't use this rail. Oh! You can jump up there. But you can't really do anything from here. That's funny. I'll figure this out. I know I can figure it out. I hope it wasn't a matter of jumping on the box while it wasn't... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Because I would have had no way to get over here. So that... that it can't be that I've missed anything. Ooh. I could just make that jump. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sounds like a... Yeah, it's a piccolo. An octave up from the normal melody. They can fly? The variety of Pikmin types never ceases to amaze me. Let me look these up. As their name suggests, winged Pikmin have sprouted wings and can fly. Of course, this means they can transport things by air and save time that way. Their ground attacks are lackluster, but when it comes to aerial combat, they're unmatched. Hello? Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach! We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these, Pikmin. Here's hoping. That's crazy. This game is a Pikmin jamboree. No, no... I, I... It's just amazing that, like, they brought... They've brought all the types that they have so far back. That's all of the main ones from Pikmin 3. I wonder if uh, we'll find any more from Pikmin 2. And Ice Pikmin. <laughs> and Glow Pikmin. Everyone. I guess Glow Pikmin taking the place of, of Baltman. Anyhow, that's this cave, or that's this sublevel complete, so. Hmm. 
This sublevel is opening up suspiciously. Another honey whisk. And another winged candy pop bud. Way high up there. Ah, that will probably be my way up there. Ooh! A bubble blower. Can any Pikmin destroy this? I guess so. That's funny. A dart. There you go. I really like how each successive Pikmin thrown into the Candy Pop Bud in this game makes a slightly higher popping pluck sound as it disappears into the Candy Pop Bud. Very nice little nugget of sound design goodness. I think the most effective thing to do is just to wait. Because I do not want Pikmin getting trapped in bubbles and then drifting off the edge into the abyss. Also, hey, we passed 10,000 Sparklium. Yippee. Okay, Ochi should be able to... Oops. Yeah! Ochi can walk through hot coals now. What is that? That's a treasure. Hmm. Those fiery blow blowhogs were not responsible for the flaming coals here. Can we get the raw material? I guess not. Oh, that's right! Nothing on hot coals can be carried until the obstacle is dealt with. So, I can't even carry that yet. I'm gonna have to figure that out. It's gotta have something to do with the sprinkler, then. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's exactly what I was worried about. Okay. But now it sounds like they have a safe passage back to the ship. I think. Yeah, okay, they did. Had to make sure. Ooh, there's a honey wisp over there. So we're building another way to turn off the, uh, <laughs> the fire sprinkler in this case, I guess. That's interesting. I would have thought that 
the water sprinkler in the Blossoming Arcadia was a one-time thing, you know, like... It's a set piece, where, where else do you put that? But in caves, anything is possible. I, I love the kind of surreal design of it. Okay, it wasn't... You did it! The fire's out! I'm silly. It wasn't the sprinkler creating the fire, it's the sprinkler that doused the fire. <laughs> now, let's take these other Pikmin. Will you be bold enough to carry this across a bottomless abyss? I'm guessing not, which is fine with me, because I wouldn't want you to anyway. <laughs> That's too dangerous. Let's turn this off. If we can. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I can throw Pikmin up here. Oh, and then Ochi can go in here. All right, Ochi, your time to shine. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Anything up there? No. Just a big metal implement. Great. All the fences are lowered. Um, I could jump up here and grab this honey wisp. Very nice. Oh, there was this wall that I never even noticed. <laughs> well done, Ochi. Way to use your head. And here's the passage to the next sublevel. Very cool. Alright. Uh, just a quick check, that's everything? Yeah, that's everything. Just gotta double check. Eighty percent done. This is the last sublevel then. Maybe this one is going to be what the uh, smoke and music and beats were all about. Oh, yeah. Huh? There must be a castaway nearby. And a disco ball. A disco ball with some really weird appendages coming from it. There's nothing to this besides, like, okay, some eggs over there. Just a big arena, then. Yeah. Alright, this is between the castaway and I, so... Let's figure out what we're dealing with. Sounds like a someone putting their finger to a like an an open audio jack. Anything? Oh dear.
Um. So. <laughs> Okay. That's not good. But he is stepping to his own beat. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's confusing the Pikmin. Our best option in this situation is to defeat the re creature responsible. Really? Oh, I can't whistle them? <laughs> okay, so it steps to its own beat. It changed its own tempo by spraying that confusing powder. It's about to do it again. The party horn, I, I can't. So now it's going even faster. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now the rave is over. Are you kidding me? Your red Pikmin have all been lost. It'll be difficult to go on without them. You're telling me? Mmm. Do I want to rerun time? No. I want to keep exploring. I must go on. I could possibly, um... I know what I could do. I could use some glow pigment. A couple more, probably. They can still be crushed, but... Will 10 pigment be even be enough for this? I'm not sure. He's just... He really knows where to step. And I cannot let any Pikmin get hit by that. Okay, the melody starts when the tempo speeds up. <laughs> but he can pause at any time he wants. Oh, and he can step so quickly. Okay. Okay. But he doesn't... Ooh. He doesn't lose any health. The disco has claimed me along with my two left feet. Yet as I shed this mortal dance for a cosmic one, my last pittance of Dondori fluoresces into a glimmer of hope. Ouch. <laughs> but, uh, we're not done yet. I gotta admit, he, he's awful. He's, I'm losing so many Pikmin, but it's catchy. Okay, hold on. He's gonna take a step towards me. Yeah. Starting to figure it out.
just gotta stay under him, really. <laughs> I, I love how the beat starts once he takes another step. Okay, he's about to slow down the tempo again. Yeah. Not about to let that happen. My small, non dancing Pikmin group is gonna take a step toward me. Yep. That's what's throwing me off. We're almost halfway down. That's so great. Yeah, what's throwing me off is that he doesn't have to step like other arachnorbs have stepped. He can take a weird step every now and then just to try and land on my Pikmin. Good. Oh, jeez. And then he's just angry. I barely even want to deal with that. Once he gets back to a slower tempo. I can't believe they made the dance party so menacing. And using, like, musical tempo as a way to indicate the amount of, like, anger <laughs> that the enemy is facing. So cool. If only it didn't kill like five sixths of my Pikmin group. Oh, you're getting angry again? I can wait. I can wait this song out. Yeah, okay, you can't move very far at that tempo. Okay, the synths that they're using here. Weird, like, tremolo. But still, like, some... Oh, jeez. Can't let that happen. Still, like, synths that you would definitely hear in EDM like this. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and the party horn. That's just ridiculous. All right, so I did it, but at what cost? That was a lot of Pikmin lost at once. And the only Pikmin that I will be able to take out of this cave, the only Pikmin that prevented me from just having to leave this cave outright is this one winged Pikmin who allowed me to be able to, like, restock Pikmin a bit with these emergency glow Pikmin. 
I don't even have enough to transport this without Ochi. But I didn't give up. The show has to go on. I'm not rewinding time over any Pikmin losses, as tragic as they are. Alright, we got a tweeter. And now we can get our castaway. Yeah, that was quite menacing. It was very interesting that they could make EDM like that so menacing, just because, like, the tempo guides the points at which your Pikmin are at most in danger. And, uh, I'm gonna remember that for sure. Okay, I'll check the ID info. Sheba, home planet Nitschke. Founder of Alion Academy's Planetary Science Club. This student was determined to see the stars along with her friends. Pardon? Judging from the name of the school and club, this has to be one of the students that came with the teacher we rescued. Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Yeah, I know I was. But it is complete. And we have one Pikmin that saved our run of this cave and allowed us to complete it in one try. Oh, that weighs heavy on me. Just Ochi. Just Ochi and one wing Pikmin. Goodbye, Glow Pikmin. We got a lot of treasures. Let's see what we have here. We have the Thrill Ride Track, the Sphere of Vitality, the Sphere of Truth, the Olfactory Sculpture, the Soul Reverberator, the Turn of Events Track, the Relentless Spear, the Sphere of Beginnings, and the Amplified Amplifier. I wonder if that will allow Russ to construct a, a whistle range amplifier. We'll have to see. Oh, I'm afraid to look at this part. Oh, no! Gosh. All 35 red Pikmin, gone. All 30 yellow Pikmin, gone. All but one of the winged Pikmin that I got, gone. 74 losses. That's awful. But... The cave is complete, and the boss was amazing. A music-themed boss that was so dangerous uh, and so funky that I lost nearly all my Pikmin to it. Oh, I guess I'll just, I'll take the, the auto amount of Pikmin. I don't have time to really do anything else, but we did a lot in this day. We made it to a new base. We did a Dondori battle and a whole cave. And boy, there's a lot left. And we'll have to, like, strategize, uh... How we explore as the tides change. But wow, what a what a day. This game just keeps surprising me with stuff. That's probably not the last time I'm going to lose almost all of my Pikmin either. <laughs> this is a dangerous game.
Hang my head low coming back on this day. We got two rescues. Excellent. But... Well, and yes, we, we got a lot of treasures as well. Like, not only the ones that we found in the cave, but also the fish bed snack and more chance totems. But... Oh, not only the entire group of red and yellow Pikmin that I brought into the cave, but two blue Pikmin, two ice Pikmin, and yes, nine wing of Pikmin. That's awful. I only have one wing of Pikmin, and I don't have a way to... Like, I, I don't have an onion for them. So, I hope that there will be other ways to propagate them in other caves, perhaps, or maybe I have to go back to that one. Uh, we'll see. No! no. Halt! Come no closer! Oh. Captain, what is it? What's wrong? Oh. They're here! On the SS Shepherd! Pikmin! So many Pikmin! At this rate, we'll be crushed! Uh, Captain? I'm not seeing any Pikmin. Oh. Huh? Oh, my. Thank goodness. It was just a nightmare. I mean, it was a dream. I, I was giving the Pikmin orders, and I wasn't afraid at all. Not one bit. Yeah. Of course. I totally believe you, boss. Right. So we've got two areas complete. We're working on the third one. Okay. Yeah, we've got new versions of those missions. We're nearly at a hundred treasures, too. Okay. Let's go talk to the student that we rescued. You're the one who saved me, right? Wow, thank you so much. I'm Shiba. I'm from Alion Academy. I'm here on the Uncharted Planet tour with my Planetary Science Club. I won the tickets in a neighborhood raffle, but... We were about to land and the spaceship went haywire. There was an emergency evacuation and everything. A little while ago, I was reunited with our club advisor, Miss Mika. She looks so tired. Keish and Kaya are still missing. I think she feels responsible. It's all so awful. Okay, so your missions are intertwined. I just need to reunite the four of you. Now, let's make one more rescue this episode and do a night mission to cure one of our leaflings. Right. We'll start off with a mission in the Blossoming Arcadia, the Fragrant Ravine. Here we go. Something about, like, the nighttime lighting with the desaturated colors, uh, just everything ambient here. They've done a very good job of making it seem, like, a bit more horror-themed. Let's see here. The ball. I have no... Oh no. It's desiccated skitter leaves. 
Lie in wait for them with your minds. Yeah, Ochi. Help me out here. Ah, we've got a joust mite on the way. Two of them. This one will go for the trick knoll first, but... Since it's so focused on that... There we go. Let's see, maybe I can use this as a shortcut? More of a roundabout way to get back to the luminol. This isn't so bad. <laughs> I'm glad that worked, because I really missed that. Let's see. More leaves coming in a big line. Oh, there's a whole other trick knoll over there. Some glow pikmin depart into photons. Wonder if they'll take the bait. They will. That's it. Fantastic! There's not a single creature left standing, or skittering, or hopping. I did it! Shalom. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. <laughs> Look at the color on that. I can't wait to make medicine with it. Well, that went very smoothly. Great. We've got a new cure. Our leafling here with extra pup drive and we can refill some of that uh, some of the glow seeds that I had to expend in that cave so they come in handy in a pinch as you could see so hey this leafling it kind of looks like Bernard right uh, you think so it's so leafy I can't really tell one way or another no yeah, but the shape of its leafiness, or maybe the overall vibe, I don't know. The way it grows, it looks like him is all. What is a Bernard-like way of growing? I don't know! Look, that's just what my gut is telling me, okay? Jan, cure this one for me tomorrow. Copy that, Roger, ten four, and so on. I'll begin preparing the medicine right away. Alright. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's administer that cure. Bernard? Bernard! A veteran pilot who started in the private sector before joining the rescue corps. He's always brimming with optimism. From planet Nijo. The rescue corps has been reunited. Wow. Excellent. Bernard! I'm pleased to see that you're back on your feet. Um, are you sure it's okay for you to be up and about already? Play it cool, Dingo. Play it cool. I appreciate your concern, Dingo, but I'm good to go. It's strange. Since losing my leaves, I feel as light as a feather. Now the next time I get abandoned in a cave, I should be able to escape all on my own. <laughs> what are you trying to say? So he's mad at me for running after all. Oh, oh nothing. Just a little joke. Good, good. Finally, all the members of the rescue corps are together again. I hereby reinstate our primary mission. The rescue of Captain Olimar. Copy that. Wow, we perfect response. You must be the secret weapon our captain's been talking to me about. Thank you very much for saving me. Excuse me, Captain. This may pertain to the subject of a certain Captain Olimar's whereabouts. I found a logbook entry that caught my interest. <laughs> Ooh. At long last, my goal to collect all possible SS Dolphin parts is nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. Wait, could that mean... While searching for our newly restored radar, we received a very strong SOS signal from inside a large structure. It must be coming from Captain Olimar. Commendable work! As always, the rest is up to you, Scruffy and Ochi. Officers, to your stations, please! Copy that. What? Has Ochi's tail always been so green? <gasps> Wait, no it hasn't. It's been a little puffball. Ochi, you've got a Pikmin tail! Just like Moss! Oh, what's going on? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I suppose with Ochi performing so many functions that a Pikmin normally functions, like, maybe it stands to reason. Maybe I'll need to find a Luminol Cure for Ochi. That would be strange. But, wow. <laughs> so, I, uh... I've rescued our pilot. We have the full rescue core back together. Let's talk to him, actually. Yo, huh? Hey, you're that rookie I've been hearing all about, right? Whew, am I thankful for you? I'm Bernard, pilot of the one and only SS Shepard. I'm deeply pleased to meet you. I'm also received. I'm also relieved to see that you are just as bright as the cap said. While I had leaves on the brain, my head couldn't stop thinking about Dondori. So listen, I need your help. I need you to save everyone who got leafified like me. Seriously, every last one. Oh, it's no small thing, I know. But there are rewards in it for you. Believe me, I've picked up a whole lot of raw materials. I mean it. I'm counting on you, okay? Good luck, rookie! Okay. Hasn't someone else... Given me that mission before? Or was it just about rescuing people? Not leaflings in particular. Cure the leaflings. Leafling meet and greet. Okay, so this is just about collecting leaflings. This is about curing them. Okay. So yes, they don't collide, but yeah, these missions kind of solve themselves with just playing the game. 
Alright, well, that's to be expected. This was a doozy of an episode as well. We, uh, explored a new area, uh, lost nearly all of my Pikmin in a single music-themed cave, and... And we rescued the entire rescue corps. We now have our pilot. Uh, it appears that there will be, as I predicted, one at least one more area waiting for us. The big house where Olimar uh, sent out his last SOS signal. So, next time, I believe we'll be scouting more of the Serene Shores and figuring out what we can get before the tide goes down and what has to be gotten after the tide goes out which is still such a cool mechanic I, I love that and I can't wait to see more of it but for now I'd like to thank you all for watching I'd like to thank my patrons on patreon for supporting my work and making all of this possible and I'll see you in the next episode bye bye <laughs>